hey, are there corrupt agents? Absolutely. Very yeah. few. And we love arresting them. We love them. I have been involved in investigations where uh, we've had intelligence analysts arrested for corruption or stupidity, because mm. sometimes there's a fine line between the two. You can provide information to the enemy out of stupidity versus uh, being actually corrupt. But I've worked on having uh, DEA agents arrested, DEA intelligence analysts arrested. And um, and as I told you earlier, Scarface, I've arrested a corrupt cop, an FBI top 10 fugitive. Right. But there was another agent, and I don't mind saying his name. His name was Rene Delacova. Rene Delacova worked with us in Colombia. He got promoted. He went to Panama. Mm. And or no, he was in Panama. I take that back. He was in Panama. He you could see his picture. He's the one that was marching Manuel Noriega onto an airplane when he was arrested. Okay? <laughs> so Rene gets uh, Rene Delacova gets all sorts of acclaims. He was a very nice guy, friendly, jovial, you name it. Well, he ends up getting promoted. He goes to Florida. That guy behind you? Right there? Well, that... Yeah, yeah, that's Rene Delacova. Okay, absolutely. I'll put, that's that, Rene. I'll put that picture in the corner of the okay. screen. Okay, so it says remembering him. Who wrote that article? I highly doubt it was Rene, because I'm going to tell you a story. So that's Rene. Let me, let me do this real quick, just to confirm. Okay. I'm going to put my glasses on. <laughs> Step away from the camera. <laughs> That's definitely Rene Delacova. Okay. So Rene was a very likable guy. He was a friend of mine. He was a friend of all the agents in Bogota. That's where he worked. That was after Noriega. Yeah. And he gets promoted. He goes to Florida, right? And very rarely do supervisors work undercover. Almost never now, and the reason being because of him. <laughs> what happened was they were doing money laundering pickups, right? And they picked mm. up million. He was the undercover agent on the group. And the reason supervisors can't be undercover agents is because when you think about it let me move a little closer here when you think about it there's no supervision going on nothing people can run amok so what happens is he's picking up money suitcases full of money for money launders so he goes and picks up a half a million or a million dollars here and he takes it back he's being followed just like all the protocols everything right that I talked about, mm -hmm. all that money gets logged and placed and ultimately drop off at the reserve after it's been photographed and tested for drugs, all that stuff. He does that several times in, in a money laundering operation. Huge deal, right? Well, ultimately, they took the guy down. And the case agents are interviewing the guy. And they say, okay. And the supervisor's not there in the interviews. Mm. And he basically says, okay, well, we've got you. You delivered seven suitcases. And I'm making up the numbers. It could have been six, could have been nine <laughs> or whatever, totaling this amount of millions of dollars to our guy. And the guy sat back and he said, no, no, I, I gave him 12 or 11, whatever, something like that. So what happened was Renee went and made pickups on his own with no backup Little nobody knew discount. he he got the page because he's the undercover agent he gets the page saying i got another half a million or a million or whatever ultimately these agents knew something was wrong make a long story short internal affairs what we call the office of professional responsibility opr part of our internal investigating our own get wind of it they do execute several search warrants Ooh. on his house, safety deposit boxes, you name it. Bottom line is Rene was stealing money mm. from drug dealers and technically from the government, and he made millions. Well, he paid the ultimate price when it comes to apart from death, and that's freedom. Well, he was sentenced to prison. I don't know the amount of time that he got. But uh, there's more to that story. People can research it on their own. There yeah. could have been an accomplice that he was involved with, all that stuff. But the bottom line is the guy that helped take down Manuel Noriega ended up stealing money from the government, corrupt agent. We're really glad that the agents that were on top of the investigation, honest agents, got word to the people that had to get the word to. Rene Delacova was a corrupt agent. 
and he went to prison for it. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.